Hey there, I'm Garrett from the Software Training Lab, and today we're going to go over how to make basic edits in your timeline in Adobe Premiere Pro. In the previous video, we laid down some footage, so now I have some clips to work with on my timeline. As we did before, the easiest way to adjust a clip is to drag the ends. If you delete a clip, you'll see that it leaves a blank section behind. We can actually select this blank space and hit backspace on your keyboard to remove the gap. This is called a ripple delete. Try to do this instead of selecting all the other clips and shifting them around. Related to this, we need to take a look at the toolbar to the left of the timeline. Normally, we're going to stay using the selection tool, which you can access at any time by pressing V on your keyboard. Just below the selection tool, we can find track select forward. And if we click and hold, that will also bring up Track Select Backward. This is super helpful if you need to make space in your timeline. With Track Select Forward, I can click once and select all the clips to the right of my cursor. Now, with the Selection tool, I can click and drag them all and make a gap. Similarly, the Track Select Backward tool selects everything to the left of my cursor. All right, I'm going to use Control Z to undo all of that. One more thing we're going to cover is the Razor tool, accessible by pressing C on your keyboard. We can also find it here in the toolbar. With the Razor tool, we can click anywhere on a clip to split them in two. This is a really easy way to chop up your footage. We can also split clips under the playhead with an easy shortcut. Put your playhead at the spot you want to split your clip, and then use Control K. Let's say we have some clips stacked on top of each other. Let me grab this music and drag it into my timeline. If I want to split all of my clips at the same time, I can use Control Shift K. Now you'll notice both my video and music have been split. Ripple deletes and splitting clips with the razor tool are some easy ways to get your footage the way you want it. In the next video, we're going to cover how to add text and title cards to your project.